This video has been sponsored by keyspan.com which can be used to purchase genuine windows keys at a very discounted price. If you have a new computer or want to upgrade your windows version then keyspan is the go to website. Windows 11 professional keys and Microsoft Office professional keys are now on sale with up to 90% discount on keyspan.com. For you gamers out there Windows 11 Pro is equipped with DirectX 12 Ultimate to take your gameplay experience to the next level. So if you want to purchase Windows 11 Pro key then visit keysfan from description box below choose the item which you want to purchase and use code ATX50 for 50% off on Windows 11 Pro if you also want to buy Office Pro then don't worry we got you there as well use code ATX62 for 62% off on your total on Office Professional Edition keysfan also provides you with 24x7 technical support for installation and multi-language licenses also refunds if the key is invalid so what are you waiting for check out keysfan right away and and let's get back to our video. Hey what's up guys it's Aptrex here and finally after 4 to 5 months of waiting we have the Horizon Emulator version 2. In today's video we'll be setting it up, taking a look at what's new, best settings and much more. So before getting started if you guys are new here be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications and here's our today's Google Play Store gift card redeem code giveaway which I am doing daily on my channel until the September end. So if you also want to participate then make sure to turn on all notifications and let's jump right into our today's video. Alright guys let's get started and let's take a look at this brand new update of Horizon Emulator. You'll be able to see this update was released about 15 hours ago and let me talk about the minimum requirements first. You need at least Android version 9 or above along with any CPU with ARC64 support, any GPU with Turnip support. So unfortunately still Mali GPU Android devices I think have not been fixed because here you'll be able to see implement virtual support has not been tick marked. So for those of you guys with Mali GPU Android device you won't be able to try out the Horizon Emulator at least for now. Anyways, here are the changes in the latest Horizon Emulator version 2.0. It is available on its official GitHub page as this is an open source project. You will be able to see auto seal services has been added, selection of course, video memory selection, video memory selection specifically for GTFI, frequency log, GPL async patches, improves performance and removes bugs on DXVK asynchronous, not connected fix for support, I think for gamepads and you will be able to see added support for audio recording during screen recording. Recording. Many games no longer require certain settings of the Dynarec like Assassin's Creed which is pretty useful to be honest. Wine 9.3 to Wine 9.7 working on CPU topology, fixed resolution on new Wine, improved performance of games where the GPU is not particularly used, some errors of the menu have been fixed, fixed crashes, added DXVK 2.4, fixes games like Watch Dogs etc, added new turnip support for new Adreno, Wine 9.15 staging and 9.16 staging, Box 64 of September 1 has been added. Resolution Resolution change has been fixed, physics has been added, also added support for gamepads. So that was a very huge list of changes. Let's open Horizon Emulator to find out what's new. For that we'll simply need to go to this section at the bottom and you'll be able to see it says Horizon Emulator 4 and the change log update Horizon Emu has been provided. So we'll simply tap on the refresh button and make sure to update all the settings including latest Box64 and a new driver has been added which means that uh, the latest Snapdragon 7H Gen 3, 8H Gen 3 etc processors will now be supported. So just make sure to update everything. By the way, it already has Glipsy support. So the performance is always best in Horizon Emulator. As we know, you also get the not connected fix for the issues uh, that were mentioned previously. But for today's video, we'll be trying out Wine 9.16 staging build, which is stable build of Wine 9.16. We also have Wine patches, Wine prefix and much more. So let's wait until all of this has been updated and then I'll be back. And now that everything has been set up, we'll simply go back to the home menu and here we'll create our brand new container. I think Y9.16, yep, it is still being added. But let's go to settings and go to environment settings where we'll simply create a new preset. This is very important, follow the best settings which I'm about to show you guys. Build block, make sure to set it to 3 for best performance and also call it flex, set it to 0. But if you are playing games like Assassin's Creed then you'll need to set the call rate flags to 2. Once that has been done you'll be able to see in terms of CPU topology you can select how many cores do you want. For example we have set it to 0 to 8 cores. Fix video memory in GTA 5 because sometimes in GTA 5 you get a prompt saying that video memory is not enough. So we'll set it to 1024 because I have 12 GB of RAM on my Android device. Uh, fix not connected you can enable it if you want to use controllers GPL async patches make sure to turn it on this is very important services startup make sure to keep it off max processor frequency turn this option on so you get the best amount of performance possible 
Once that has been done, show FPS etc has been turned on. Not a big deal, DXVK heard, make sure to disable it. And in terms of Mesa variables, uh, the shader cache size is set to 4GB. Once that has been done, we are done with our latest preset which is the uh, new preset. And now I think the Wine 9.16 staging has also been added. So we can start setting up this emulator by creating our brand new container and using the environment preset which we created. Box64 set it to the latest uh, September 1 build of Box64 DXVK driver. For today's video, we'll use 2.4 GPL asynchronous. And in terms of turnip driver, you get new Adreno plus boost. So we'll simply choose this option just for testing or else I'll go with turnip 9 if games do not work. In terms of wicked d 3 we'll set it to 2.12 fix. Everything else can be kept as default. Once that has been done, we'll simply tap on file manager and open our horizon emulator. Now the first startup may take some time as we have just created a brand new wine container. So wine needs to initialize and do lot of stuff. Just be patient and it will be done. And there we go guys, you will see a black screen but once again just be patient until this black screen loading is completed or else if it stays black screen then you can simply restart your horizon emulator. For example, I'll just go ahead and close the horizon emulator. Afterwards make sure to force stop it or else horizon emulator does not close completely. Once you have force stopped, let's reopen file manager and this time see if it works or not. So there we go, instantly you will be able to see our wine container has opened without giving us any issues. There may be sometimes black screen but as I mentioned before, you can uh, restart your horizon emulator. You'll be able to see Physics Mafia 2 has been provided if you want to play that game. I won't be doing that though. We also get Wine Mono setup so we won't be doing that as well. In terms of default apps, make sure to go to Wine Configuration and yeah, set the Windows version to Windows 10. Here is a small gameplay of me playing PAL World inside this version of Horizon Emulator and I have been completely shocked because previously we used to get like 5 to 10 FPS but now the performance improvement is so crazy we are getting playable amounts of FPS in the latest 2024 games like PAL World. Anyways, this was a quick gameplay test because that's going to be it for today's video because I'll be uploading a separate video doing a complete gameplay test on the Horizon Emulator version 2. We'll be testing out games like Assassin's Creed Rogue, GTA 4, GTA GTA 5, Need for Speed and much more. So be sure to subscribe for that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.